Sean Stormont made the big move. If you are now commander in chief of National Guard Jake Zemke Suzuki. Um, not necessarily commander in chief. Um, Darren Marshall's a commander in chief. I'm just his right hand person. I'm the liaison between Darren and the two guys, Dave Wells and DJ. So. Um, but yeah, I made the move and it's a good move so far. I mean, it's obviously just the second day of this. Yesterday was a scramble. It was tough for me because of the routine that I had as a lead mechanic working with the um, Jordan Suzuki, Aaron Yates, and um, to go over to a new rider, Jake Zemke, but also having the, the responsibility of a different responsibility that was um, yesterday was fun, <laughs> to say the least. Um, my notes look like, yeah, uh, they didn't look good at all. And, <laughs> But I kept them and just kept going and kept plugging along. And so it's not the first time I've been in this sort of a role. I did it with um, back in 01 and 02 when we won the national championship with Jimmy Moore. Um, and so, but it's I've taken a, a different role with the with the Jordan Suzuki team. And and now um, it was a nice sort of change this year to do this. And it's a great opportunity to take you know I guess my career in a sense to at another level and, and go from there. And, so, yeah. What can you tell us is like the biggest change in your duties? What what would be something that was a significant change over what you do? Or is it just a bunch of little things? No, that's that's an easy one. I don't work on the bike like I did. You know, I mean, I mean, this will probably be the last time I bring my tools to the track. Just, um, and it's my job to make sure that Dave and DJ are doing their job. Um, they have the, the right tools and the path to do the, their job. Like right now, they're working on the bike, and I'm coming back here to make lunch as soon as I get done with this, and uh, so they could keep working, and they don't have to worry about, oh, am I gonna, when am I gonna have a chance to eat? They'll have a chance to eat. Uh, it's instead of me doing the changes on the bike, they're doing them. Uh, I'm instructing them what to do, and and helping Dave and DJ. Just uh, I've been doing this for a while, and at this level, and had a really good routine, and helping those two bring their level up to what say Ryan and I did at the on the Jordan side of things. So. I think that's field commander at the very least. <laughs> I don't know if I'd go there, but yeah, no, it's just, this is good. It's different. My hands are staying cleaner. Um, I still get dirty because, like, you know, when there's only three of us and, and when things need to get done and, and time's short, you know, I definitely know the bike. You know, I'm at back of the shop. Um, all the new parts pretty much are um, Pete and I design and figure out and make sure that they work and that the bike's to the best that it can be for American Superbike Racing so we can come home with this national championship in one of the two camps. I mean, from my standpoint now, sorry Aaron, um, we want Jake Semke to win it, but I want Aaron to be right there, in, you know, close second. So um, that's the whole idea is bring this whole, you know, Michael Jordan Motorsports to the cream of the crop like some other team is or used to be. So, um, yeah. Very cool. Well, congrats, and uh, we'll look for some more good inside scoop as the year progresses. Okay, thanks. Appreciate it.